Hey, what's up YouTube, it's ICU, and in today's video, I wanted to talk to you guys about the iOS 12.4 A12 jailbreak, where it is, what we can expect, and I also wanted to clear up some misinformation that's going around recently, because a lot of people are under the assumption that there's not going to be an A12 iOS 12.4 jailbreak. It seems like one of the jailbreak developers has dropped out of the race to release an A12 jailbreak for iOS 12.4. So, while that is true, we are going to get an A12 jailbreak. That's the gist of this video. That's the major takeaway that I want you guys to watch this video and understand. Also, the fact that Pwn to Own is absolutely the best jailbreak developer on the scene. Be sure to show him some love. We'll talk about that more toward the end of this video, but let's get into exactly what I'm talking about today and why I'm even creating this video in the first place. So Coolstar said the following in a private chat, I'm just going to be quoting everything he said, besides a PAC bypass for A12 can go for hundreds of thousands, no public release. Most you'll see is a demo when it's ready. I'm making an A12 12.4 jailbreak, but I'm keeping it private, but not releasing anything 12.1.3 plus publicly. I only released 12.0 through 12.1.2 since some friends convinced me that it would be worth it just to prove A12 can be jailbroken. Because as many of you know, Coolstar released the first A12 jailbreak for up to 12.1.2 a while back after the initial iOS 12 jailbreak dropped. And even just a few minutes ago, Coolstar said, LOL, when people are so stuck up on 12.4, they forget the fact I released 11.0 through 11.4.1 or even 12.0 through 12.1.2 2, which includes A12, not to mention A7 through A11 on 12.2 and 12.4, not worth burning a valuable PAC bypass for unsigned 12.4. 13 is in like two weeks and watch people beg for that. Now he does have a point there, but he's mostly just flexing and saying, I release tools, so get off my back. Well, I mean, any backlash is kind of on him. In my opinion, he went about doing this the wrong way. Of course, I definitely feel like we should support any developer who releases a public jailbreak utility in 2019 and beyond. They're just absolute godsends. But if you say you're working on something publicly and then walk it back and then get mad at people for just reacting, because I mean, it is the internet after all. There are always going to be people mad no matter what you do. Then that just doesn't look good. And let's face it. Pwn to Own is going to be the one to save us on iOS 12.4 with A12 devices anyway. We have confirmation of that, so thankfully the A12 jailbreak is not dead. And also guys, don't spread hate, just spread positivity. Don't give Coolstar even more of a reason to want to hold back. I hope that Coolstar ends up releasing something at some point for A12 once more, but it doesn't look like he's going to, at least for now. But now, let's go ahead and move on to the great news in today's video. In that initial tweet that we were talking about with the screenshot quoting Coolstar, it was actually a reply to another tweet from hacker Jake James, who works closely with Pwn to Own and the Uncover team. He said at the end of his quote, don't worry though, Uncover will keep its promise, suggesting that we are going to see an A12 jailbreak for 12.4, of course we already knew this, but just reiterating that, and he even said why it's taking so long. Quote, well, we had a lot of change of plans, first waiting for substrate, it didn't happen, then starting to work on fixing A12 ourselves, was almost done until the 12.4 exploit and the idea of PAC list, now started again from scratch, but we're close. So that's why it's taking so long, guys. It's not because Pwn to Own is holding out on you, it's just because these things do in fact take time. They're doing it all for free. They're spending hundreds of hours reworking this, making sure that the stability is rock solid. And believe me, you want it to be rock solid, especially now that iOS 12.4 is no longer signed. There's always the chance that something could brick your device, forcing you into updating to 12.4.1 or iOS 13, which of course are not jailbreakable. As of recording this video, they patch the primary sock puppet exploit in the iOS 12.4 jailbreak, so you want to make sure that these things, again, are rock solid. 
Patience is key when it comes to waiting for a jailbreak. And now getting into the, some of the brand new tweets, just since I started filming, in fact, Pwn to Own said the A12 soon to be with PAC list, Cydia support and system wide code substitution. And he tweeted that with a screenshot showcasing an iPhone 11 comma two, so an A12 powered device, and for testing it's on 12.0. But again, this is going to support iOS 12.4 once it does drop. And for even more of the latest tweets, he said, quote, the PAC list implementation has been rewritten from scratch and the stability and performance issues have been fixed. It is also safe to say now that this implementation is significantly more stable than it was with the PAC bypass. The new PAC list implementation doesn't only provide full-fledged A12 support with tweak injection, but also bypass core trust and entitlement requirements on all devices. So thanks to Pwn to Own actually doing all of this research in regards to getting an A12 jailbreak, it looks like the stability is going to become even more rock solid thanks to what he's discovered on all devices. So these new developments will bleed over into everyone who is currently jailbroken, and we should all see stability improvements on our day-to-day -day jailbroken devices on iOS 12.4. So guys, Pwn to Own is absolutely fantastic. He's done a great job, as has the entire Uncover team. And as I said on Twitter earlier today, I really want you guys to go and show Pwn to Own some love. I mean, like I've been saying throughout this video, he's a fantastic developer. Developer. He's doing all of this for free, and we should all take a second to tweet at him with nothing but appreciation. Don't ask for ETAs, don't harass him, just send him positive energy, guys, because again, without him, we would not have jailbreaking, and we wouldn't have even the slightest chance of a brand new jailbreak for A12. Now, just seconds ago, as you guys saw, he said, quote, much more than that, this quote, sloppy and pervasive kernel patches are not present with this new implementation. Everything is done in the safest and most stable way possible. So take away from this, we're going to get an A12 jailbreak for iOS 12.4. It's just going to take a little bit of time. It seems like they're very close, as hacker Jake James said, and Pwn to Own basically echoed his words of stability and rewriting the entire jailbreak from the ground up and working on the 8.12, 12.4 jailbreak diligently. And uh, yeah, guys, I mean, that's where things stand right now. The 8.12 jailbreak has not been canceled. Just because Coolstar isn't working on a solution of his own doesn't mean that there's not one in development. And even since I finished recording this video, Pone has pushed out a number of additional tweets and updates, tons of good information, but basically just what we've been saying throughout this video and my analysis of it. A couple things that I did want to highlight, though. Again, he does reiterate that he's against giving ETAs and he will never do it, as I've said a number of times, but he also said, quote, I am technically done with all of the A12 work at this point. You can update your device to iOS 13 if you can't stand waiting for a few days or just stay if you are interested in a really good jailbreak experience. That's what I was talking about when he said it's fully rock solid. And he also reiterated again the amount of time that this takes, saying, quote, I don't make any profit when someone jailbreaks their device with Uncover. It is also hilarious hilarious to me to see people fight over their jailbreak tools. There is only one goal with jailbreak development, and that is providing software freedom. Jailbreaks are supposed to get you started with a pre-built collection of core packages. There is a reason why package managers exist. Not having every package manager bundled in the jailbreak app doesn't make it restrict what you can do and take away your freedom. People underestimate the amount of work making a jailbreak takes, much less than research research effort, majority seem to assume it is as simple as installing Cydia files after running an exploit and don't realize the amount of work and complicated mechanisms they run on their devices. There is essentially a reason why jailbreak development has slowed down over time. That is mainly because there are just so many things to deal with when making a jailbreak now, and Apple puts all of their efforts into making it as hard as possible. It is funny to me that A12 would have been significantly faster without PAC. PAC is an overhead for the system and slows down devices for the sake of extra quote security. So guys, that's where I'm going to end today's video. 
Again, Pwn to Own is just letting everyone know where he stands, that he's very close. You can update to iOS 13 if you want to, but he does seem like he is incredibly close. He will never give ETAs, but he does say days away. So if that's any indication, we could see a brand new iOS 12.4 A12 jailbreak within the next couple of weeks. Again, don't harass him for ETAs. Just hop on over to his Twitter, send him some positive vibes. Be sure to subscribe if you have yet to for full updates and coverage around jailbreaks and their development. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.